live from the Showtime Sports Group. It's the Monster Medina Show. Here's your host, Mondo the Monster Medina. And welcome back to Showtime Sports Grill. 2106 North Saragossa. Earlier we had the Hanks volleyball team. Now we have the Clint Lions football team. So now this is also the Clint Lions football team fundraiser. So if you're here at Showtime, man, we got, see, like I said, the Hanks people are at the back. I like the Clint Lions people. <laughs> They're right in front of me, which I like to see. I see some of your players there, Coach. Uh, remember, when, as you eat here at Showtime, make sure you tell your server that you're here to support Clint Lions football. And then 15% from your ticket will go to the program. We're now joined by Rosbel Martinez, the head coach of the Clint Lions also. The Hall of Fame coach, uh, Tony Gidava. Uh Coach Martinez, how you doing, brother? Good Pretty to see good you. It's nice been a while, be but it's good to see you, bro. No, same here. It's, ni it's nice. Like I said, I've never been here. It's a nice atmosphere, but uh, it's it's always good to get out and come over here to the side of El Paso. You know, we kind of <laughs> in claim we got, we got banderas, burritos, and stuff like that. But you know, hey, it, bro, it, but you know good. those burritos are, are good, bro. You know oh, those burritos yeah. are hard to beat, you know. <laughs> Uh, but nonetheless, let's talk about this. You guys are two and three overall. Uh, you start district uh, this Friday against Fort Stockton, but of course you beat some quality teams. The, you beat East Lela, you know, a team that, uh, like I said, that is, is very young, and I had higher hopes. Be I say that because I went to Isleta, <laughs> and then also you beat a team that what, me and Coach are very surprised. They're they're even rock is not surprised that you beat them, but because they beat El, El Paso last week very soundly. So talk to me about your team and as as you guys get ready to go to a, a district play against Fort Stockton. Yes, and uh, we moved our game to Thursday actually, so okay. it's not going to be on Friday. Okay, uh, they're struggling with officials, so that's one of the reasons we had the JV game today. So we're going to be traveling to Fort to model play them to open up our district play but uh overall uh you know i was talking to the coaches uh i've been the head coach for 17 years now i've been there for 20 some years and i've never dealt with the injury bug as bad oh. as we've had this year uh we have like six seven sophomores starting on both sides of the ball uh but uh you know they next man up you know that's what no, they say and, you know what that's the thing because and i mean, and coach can attest to this because uh, last year, the Hanks Knights were like that, and I know Hanks has been hit with the injury bug, but Coronado was very young last year. Believe it or not, Franklin is very young last year. El Dorado was young last year as well. So just because you're young, I mean, for the, he's let us young, like I said, it might be, like you said, next man up, but it gives them that experience yes, that it does. next year they're going to be even better. That's yes, how I look are. at it. Yes, they are. And, uh, and you know what? We weren't surprised last uh, two weeks ago when we played Irvin uh, because we know the work, work ethic these kids have, yeah. uh, especially when they've been with the program, you know, seventh, eighth grade, and kind of run the whole Wishmore stuff. And, yeah. And, and, and they stepped up to the plate two weeks ago, and, and you know, it, it was a little surprising that we – put up 54 points with the wishbone offense which is tough to <laughs> right. do uh yes. but uh they're they're coming around they're coming around and and you're right you know in the next couple of years is, is going to be some good years to kind of be looking out for for the Clint Lions and they'll be back up top so yeah. we're excited about that Hello, coach first of all I just want to congratulate you on your season so far you know and and actually you know the uh, the record that you've established there Clint it's it's, it's just it's truly amazing because you know it's not like uh, you know, a school here in El Paso. Yeah. Right. You're, you're in a different situation. It, it's a, it's, it's it, a little different, and, and you know, and credit goes back to the coaches that I've had. You know, uh, it's a lot of continuity with us. You know, mm -hmm. there's teams that go through coaches right. left and right, and you know, and for some reason they keep staying with us. So, <laughs> you know, they big props to those guys, and you know, and and the kids well, that we got down the, the lower valley well, is a little go different. Ahead, go ahead and mention some of your assistant coaches. Well, I got uh, the defensive corner here. Coach Lopez is there. Wait, hold up. We're going to put you on camera. I need you to stand up. Do yeah. it again. Coach Lopez, coach there. Lopez he's the defensive coach Lopez coordinator in the house. for us. Yeah, there he is. And then our defensive lineman coach, he's been with us for two years. Uh, three years. Three oh. years, Mr. Uh, coach. Bro, you're, you're, yeah. not, supposed to, uh, you're oh, not supposed to correct your boss, man. <laughs> well, He's going to make you run laps tomorrow, bro. <laughs> well, he, he's, 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 he's been paid for two years. That, okay. that first year, okay. that first that's year that's he's right, volunteer. Okay. So. Today's, this year's an intern year, bro. That's all it is. There you go. <laughs> and then Coach Carrillo's been with us. He's the linebackers coach back there. there. Coach. coach Cardea, he does the quarterbacks. He's on the offensive side of the ball. And then we have Coach Sanchez. He does the tight ends for us. And then Coach Martinez back there. He helps us pretty much in everything. And there's a few coaches that still haven't shown up, but uh, our offensive coordinator and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, continuity is a big yeah. thing. And, 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 Coach, how, how, how big is that, the fact that you can have oh, the no. same staff that's for, right. for that many amount of years. Well, there's there's different advantages actually. You know, first of all, the kids get to know you 
early. Yes. You know, when they first start, when, when they first come in as freshmen, so they know that you're going to be there, you know, for the four years. Yes. And, and so that 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 uh, continue at, uh, continuation actually, you know, does help. And then of course, you know, you get a chance to uh, teach the offense or whatever the scheme it is. Right. Okay? And then they get to practice it for, for those four years. Yes, yeah. exactly. And, and th those are all big advantages mm -hmm. to. Uh, and then you know, you, you play a, t a style of offense that it's hard to defend. It is. <laughs> let's, it be is. Honest, it let's be is. honest. And you, you have to really play a Simon Footmall to be able to uh, to play against that type of an offense. Exactly, and it's it's tough to defend, like you said, and uh, and not a lot of well, not a lot of teams run that offense. So to prepare for the for the triple option is, is kind of tough when you see spread teams all over the place, yeah. and then all of a sudden you got three days to prepare for a triple <laughs> exactly. option. You're old school, baby. <laughs> you know, you Coach, did you ever have to <laughs> go up against uh, the wishbone when you were at Franklin? Days, I'm sure. Yeah, the, there was some. You know, what, what really gave us fits though was was the triple option, but but from a double wing. Right, uh, right. I, I mean, that, that, uh, yes, yeah. that, that was that's tough. You have to you have to be disciplined. Very disciplined. Yes. And Very if you disciplined. don't, if you don't, it doesn't matter whether you have the athletes or not. Right. You know, if you're right. not disciplined back yes. there, yes. Uh, you can you can get in trouble. Absolutely. You don't know your assignment. You, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble. So talk talk about uh, I, and of course. Like you talked about, your situation is different than the rest of the city of El Paso because you're in the division you're at, you have to travel. And when I mean you have to travel, you have to travel. I mean, here, like we, we just talked about Riverside, all pobrecitos that have to travel like five hours or whatever <laughs> to go to the game. You'd have to do that every other week. Yes. You know, so I'm um, so you guys are, are are used to it, but at the same time, it's still a challenge. How do you prepare the team for that every every other week for that? It is. It is. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people didn't know this, but we've been playing in the in, in the big 4A, the Division One, yeah, for the last couple of years because of the travel. Yep. You know, yep. we didn't. Of course, money issue. And then sure. at school, the kids had a school, all this stuff. So uh, with over 600 kids, we were playing in the big 4A and we were competing, you know. Props to these Definitely. guys, and uh, so we kind of went back down to our level now, and 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 they're starting to see it. And the the first district games going all the way to Stockton, and then when, in two weeks we go to Pecos, and then the last district <laughs> game go to Monahans, and if we make the playoffs, we keep going. But a bunch of these kids are used to it because we have made the playoffs, you know, and yeah, yeah. too deep, you know, too deep, almost three deep in one year, but. Uh, it's it's a good experience for the kids and 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 it helps them once we do make that run it, it kind of helps them because we did travel already yeah. so it's something that they're they're gonna because coach that's the one thing that when we talk about the rest of the schools in El Paso that that's what they're not used to they're not used to oh, traveling sure. the four yeah, or five it's, hours it's then have to blocks, play so. have a couple of blocks <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> for you guys so talk to me about your team tell me about your squad well, it's, it's like I told you, you know, the injury bug hit us. We got a lot of young guys, uh, but we're excited. We're excited with the team that we have. They, we, we had some good kids who graduated last year, yeah. great kids. Uh, so uh, some big shoes to fill, which they've done. Uh, we got some kids that have never played football before. They come out as seniors, you know, and I'm, I'm one of those guys. Never know you're going to find a diamond in the oh, rough. Sure. Yeah. You know, so I yeah. let everybody in, and they get upset because they've never played or whatever. But you know what? We found some of those kids that can That's help right. us, you know. So, uh but they're great. You know, they got a big heart. That's one thing you can count on the Clint Lions. We might not be the biggest kids. It, every now and then we get a six-footer like we do this year. We have a 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the heart they have is something yeah. else, yeah. you know, and they're tough. They're tough kids, and, and you see it. And if you guys show up next week at the Mountain View game, you're going to see. You're going you're gonna to get a good show out of these kids. There, you, you look at, uh, you know, the uh, the opponents you have coming up, of course, Fort Stockton. You know they're five and zero. Oh, they, they're coming. I think they beat Austin earlier earlier in the yes, year. Yes, they so, did. So uh, you know y you know you've got your hands full with that. But yes. then you know I, that that's not the end of the season though. No, right? no, no, no. You no, still no, have the rest of the district. Yes. Left. How how do you see that? You know, hopefully if you can get uh, uh, get some people back that that are injured. Uh, how do you see the the future after Fort Stockton? You know what? And, and believe it or not, we're going over there to try to win the ball game. Oh, sure. Sure. Of course you are. Of course you are. You know that, Coach. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's like I told these kids, when we've never lost two games in a row, and, and I think the last time we did that, that was probably 16 years ago. So when oh, we wow. lost that second game against uh, Bel Air, it was tough. So, and I told the kids, right, we, we, before we played Urban, I said, you know what, I, I don't know about you guys, but losing does not run in our <laughs> yeah. dna as coaches yeah. you know that yeah, coach. Yeah. Yeah. i said and and we got to figure out a way to win you know we need that w to run through our system again and and we pulled it through and and that's the mentality we have tomorrow you know as soon as as soon as we walked off the field today i told him i said guys we're going over there we're going to come back one and oh that's the way it works and and hopefully we it can is. pull it through but it's going to be tough yeah. it's going to be tough yeah. you know they 
they, like I said, they beat Austin, a real good Austin team. Yes. I know yes. they're banged up a little bit right now, but it was the first game of the season. Austin was at the top. and Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but we'll see what happens. You know, these, a bunch of these guys are going to have to step up to the challenge. and, and, and oh, I like how you're looking directly at them as you say that. You're looking <laughs> right at them. Yeah. You know, as you say that. And they have big smiles right now. So, Talk to me about your fan fan base. You know, you guys have a b beautiful facility out there, beautiful stadium out there in Clinton. You know, I've been there a couple of times. Talk to me about your fan the fan base, the, the 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 people that go and support you guys. Oh, they're great. They're great people. You know, every year it keeps growing and yeah. growing and growing. I, I remember when from, I was from 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 when you started to yes, the way it is now. It's yes, very different, yes, right? Yes. You know, I'm I graduated from Crane High School, which is a small town outside of yeah. You know, my uh, my wife is from Monahan, so we. We've been around the Permian Basin football and, and the fans. You know, you pack, you close the stores down, whatever sure. it is, they go yep. and travel. So when I got here, it wasn't like that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yellow dog shows up to pick you up. I was like, what? where's the travel bus at? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you're, you're, yeah. Flying, you're, you're used to flooding that light. <laughs> yes, just yes. Like, just like in TV, it really is. <laughs> Sometimes like that, boys, it really is like that. I've seen it. You know, so and then. So, yeah, so, so, so the first couple of games, I mean. It was to where you couldn't yell at the kids because the one parent that was at the top could hear you. You know, it was, it was that bad. I was like, you know what? And then you started winning some games next to, you know, it's a it's pretty good deal. And I still remember the first time we played Monahans for the district championship. It was at our place and it was a packed house. I remember yeah. getting a call from the superintendent and say, you know what? I've never seen a stadium like this at Clinton High School. It was at the old high school. Yeah, the old right. one. Yeah. Yeah. And from then it kind of snowballed and... and now you got the fans that we got now, you know, very supportive, Great. always asking if we need anything, stuff like that. So, and I'm still there, so I guess they like me. I mean, <laughs> I, th you know, I, think, I think you've done okay, I'll brother. I'll tell you what, after, <laughs> that second, okay. after that second loss, I was going to be like that coach from, from UT and put a for sale sign on my house, but uh, it's worked out. It's worked out. Oh, that, that is awesome. Uh, well, brother, uh, what's, before we wrap it up, uh, once again, I, I do want to remind everybody, that's here at Showtime. We're here also for Clint Football. It is the fundraiser. So talk about the fan base. Remember, whatever you eat here at Showtime, up until 10 o'clock, tell your server that you're here to support the Clint Lions football team, and they will get 15% of that ticket going to the uh, football team. So, Coach, anything else you want to tell Coach Martinez before we wrap it up? No, here? I just want to wish you luck for, for, for you. the rest of the season. I, mean, I know you're going to have your team ready. You always do. Yeah. Appreciate that. And uh, so hopefully you'll, uh, you'll come away and you know, maybe we can see you later on and maybe in the playoffs. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Maybe yes, I can stand up and be a Hall of Fame coach like that. <laughs> there there you go. Right next to me. Hey, man, yeah, I th I th you're putting in the work, you know. Yes, and, he is. And the yes, fact that you have all your guys here showing up, almost every single one of you have your players, and you've been there for such a long time, it tells me what type of person you are, brother. And I that it shows it. you that everybody here, that they love everything that you do. So uh, from the bottom of our heart, we wish you nothing but success. You're, you're going to win tomorrow. And then the rest of the season, too, good luck to you, all right? Thank you. I appreciate you guys having me. Make some Thank noise for Coach Martinez, ladies and gentlemen. Clint Lyons football team will take a break. We'll be right back. This is the Moss Medina Show, live from Showtime on epsportsnetwork.com. And welcome back to Showtime Sports Grill, 2106 North Saragossa. I am Mondo the Moss from Dean, along with the Hall of Fame coach, uh, Tony Grijalva. This is the Clint Lions uh, fundraiser. And now we have the quarterback of the Clint Lions, Fabian Bustamante. Boys, make some noise for Fabian Bustamante. <laughs> You're, you're going to be good, bro. You're going to be good. I know you're nervous. I mean, I know it's, uh, it's a good. So you're the quarterback. That means you're the leader of this team. So what does this mean to you, the fact that you got your boys there? So like I said, just pretend we're at the huddle. You know, you're just being yourself now. Now you're a little relaxed. You know, you're kind of easy going and stuff like that. So talk to me. What does it mean being the, the quarterback of this team? Well, I mean, it's great. I mean, they're great players, and it's fun to play with them all the time. Uh, so what is the one thing that you love the most about them? You they're said it's work. great. They're, they're always working hard. How do they motivate you? Whenever I'm frustrated, they tell me to calm down or anything like that. Yeah, but like, it, give me more, give me more, like, give, give me like, like examples. Like if something's going wrong, I'm sure one of you, your running back or your tailback or your right receiver might come up to you, you know, and tell you, hey, you come down, you know, we just kind of relax here and do these couple plays and it helps out, right? Yes, sir. Oh, I, I feel like, <laughs> You're good, bro. You're good. Well, I mean, they motivate me and, like, <laughs> I don't know. Stop. <laughs> uh, hey, 
now we shy. It's all right. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help you out, bro, because they're gonna give you. They're gonna like la 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 regaste, güey, con todo en el radio, whatever. But that, that's what's gonna be, bro. I mean, it, we're boys. I mean, it is. We're all from the valley. I'm from the valley too, so I grew up in the area. So, talk to me about the coaching staff. What do you think about the coaching staff? They're great coaches. They push us hard every day, and they're tough on us. Well, it helps us on the field. Talk, talk about that win. You know, we talked about, Coach talked about you guys that lost two, two games in a row. And then um, he said, hey, we didn't do that here at Clint. We don't lose two games in a row. So we went out there and you guys took care and basically destroyed. You scored all, up to 50 points against Irvin. What was that like? Well, it felt good. It felt pretty good. It was a tough two losses in a row, but we came back and fought strong. We just need to keep that consistency. Let me, tell you, let me ask you one thing. Just like, like I'm talking to Coach uh, Martinez. We, we don't see that triple option a whole lot, you know, the, the wishbone. I, I want to ask you, how many running backs do you have? We have a lot. We have a lot of <laughs> running backs, yeah. yeah I figured I, yeah, I, was, look, I was looking at Max Rick at the stats, and there's, there's quite a few that, that have handled the ball. What is it like to run an offense like that? Well, we, like you said, we just have to be disciplined mm -hmm. all the time. And we're just remembering what to do all the time, like on the blocks and everything like that. We got to be disciplined with that and do it right every time and run full speed. That's why we have that many backs, too. And does it matter to you? Uh, I mean, I, I know the coaches prepare you for the defense that you're going to face that week, but does it really matter to you uh, what kind of defense is out there? Because you're, you're going to have to beat them anyway, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. It, it, well, it does matter, but we just got well, to figure out a way. We got to figure out a way to fight. Got it. So, yes, so now, Fabian, I'm going to turn it on your teammates. We're going to turn the camera on, and you're going to introduce to me some of your teammates. Uh, so go ahead and introduce uh, some of your teammates that are here with us. Right here on the far left with the white cap, you have Ernie. What up, right, Ernie? Right Ernie here in the, the house. And the right with the blue shirt in the front, we have Angel. We call him Happy. Well, well you tell me the positions, too, that they play. He plays running back. The one on the left plays left, ta left guard. There you go. <laughs> we have Brock on the, on the back right. He plays tight end and outside linebacker. We have Kevin Casala right there next to Brock. He Wait, plays running back. So you go, there you go. Running back and middle linebacker. We have Luis. He what plays up, Luis? right guard and middle linebacker. And then on the far left, we have our center. You guys. Matthew. Matthew, what's up, Matthew? I appreciate you being here. Uh, it seems like you guys are a tight-knit group. And especially, like, what, what is it like, you know? Like, we, we talked to, talk to Coach uh, Martinez about it. What's it like, I mean, for, for the coaches is one thing, having to put up with the travel what is it like for you guys uh, that you actually have to travel a couple of hours and then perform? I know you kind of used to, but still, it's got to be kind of a, a pain, and you got to prepare for that, right? It's it's a little different, but we just got to go in there and be focused, basically, on the trip. And like the day of, I mean, do you, you you try to nap on the bus, or do these, or is the time where like if you try to nap, they're gonna mess with you? No. That's, that's what teammates do, because right, they're laughing right now, because I know that's what y'all do sometimes, right? And you're smiling too, bro. You know it is. Nah, you know, we, you gotta, we rest. We you, rest. You rest. We rest. All right, yes, good. Sir. Fabian, you did a tremendous job. Uh, we wish you nothing but the best of luck tomorrow. You're going to have a uh, get on that bus and travel to Fort Stockton. You guys are going to do very, very well, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck for the rest of the season. District play. Make some noise for Fabian. He did a great job, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Monster Dinner Show. We'll be back after these messages on epsportsnetwork.com. Thank you for watching. This has been a presentation by the El Paso Sports Network. Follow us at www dot epsportsnetwork dot com